As a principal developer, I'm following the whole development process. That means that I'm starting with the strategy, then the feature selection, and later on with the development process, I'm participating in the development and the testing as well. Sometimes I also need to demonstrate the feature to customers as well. Also, as a principal developer, I'm working cross-organization with our other units uh, where we set the strategy and identify the vision. So I have a master degree from computer science, which looked to be a good starting point to work at Ericsson. But uh, my learning just started here. I continued with the on-the-job learning as well as uh, with trainings and participating on uh, developer conferences where I learned, learned a lot. I started as a C++ developer at Ericsson. Uh, later on, I realized that uh, I need to extend my competence and learn new languages in order to uh, use the best tool for my task. Uh, later on, I participated in uh, multiple uh, transfer projects where I uh, had the opportunity to see a complex software system. By working with this complex software, I also learned and identified the similarities and patterns in that. Uh, as a result, I was able to drive a whole feature development, first on team level, and later on I extended it for across the teams uh, on unit level. Driving feature development across multiple teams led to that uh, position where I could represent the product itself, and by having that, uh, I could reach out other parts of Ericsson and start collaborating with them. Being a software developer requires continuous learning. By following the trends, technologies, languages, tools, that's really important in order to make life easier and write better software. Also, communication is very, quite important. Because if you have an idea, then it's very important to share it with others. And uh, by sharing, I mean that you explain the pros and cons, you put the value next to it, which helps you to, to sell your idea at the end. I'm continuously working on to find and make new connections between products and services across Ericsson. I'm working now with a new product idea. This product idea uh, was initially targeted developers, but later on I realized that uh, this can also help to build connections across Ericsson and also offer an existing product to the customer in a new way. This idea started from the development flow to make it easier for our developers. Later, I realized that uh, this product can open up new possibilities across Ericsson by building new connections, which was not possible before. This new cloud-based product uh, will be also accessible for customers. In this way, they can have uh, new possibilities to access an existing product in a new way.